Oh, I'm sorry. Did I press record? Yeah, I did. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Leaf Green Randomized Nuzlocke. Gotta have the scream. It's been a while. It always has been a while. It always is a while. Been very busy recently with a lot of real world circumstance. Um, haven't had a lot of time to do any of this stuff. Um, no, I really enjoy doing it, obviously. I have one recorded, but I don't think I've uploaded it yet. This is another one I'm recording in advance. And uh, my schedule's gonna open up soon, and I'm just gonna keep pumping out more, because that's what I love to do. Um, so, if anyone's watching, thank you for watching. Drop a like if you like it, only if you like it, not if you don't. If you don't like it, dislike or move on. It doesn't, doesn't really bother me. Got criticism? Drop it down there. Don't like me yelling? Drop a dislike. So whatever. On uh, the last episode, I believe we went to Seafoam. We made it through Seafoam. We got the team. Here's a little team recap, just in case. Morona, our bug ghost Jigglypuff. She's very terrible, but we're gonna hopefully get her up. She's kind of our HM slave. She's got Serpent Strength and more to come. Delphin, the beast, the rock type Golduck. He is chilling out with all these beautiful moves that just really suit him. Nerves, I don't think I've used him once. He's a bug type. I might have used him once, I'm not sure. He's got some pretty good moves as well. Balin. Gotta love Balin. Phantom and Rock Tunnel, I think. And uh, Boon. Boon, obviously. Come on. Water, Ice, Wheezing. Boon is like our sole savior of this Nuzlocke. And Odin. I don't, I don't really, really remember much about Odin, but he's there, I suppose. Um, okay, so we made it here, but we didn't do anything. I think we got two of the whatever it's called. Uh, I'm gonna need... We got 18 of those. Okay, we're gonna get our encounter in the mansion. That's what we're gonna do today. Uh, we're gonna go... Sorry, sorry my god. We're gonna go to the mansion. And we're gonna get our encounter and solve the mansion and move on. And then battle Blaine. We need to train a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Alright, encounter is... A siege of... Yeah. It doesn't affect me, moron. Alright. Let's throw the, uh, the old Master Ball. Ooh, forgot we had that. And you're mine! Thanks, Siege. Yes. Anha. Anha. Alright, we'll check her later. Um, we got to go through Rock Tunnel. Chinchu? Oh, I remember Chinchu. We had a Chinchu, didn't we? Uh, what was her name? Alina. Her name was Alina. I did not forget about Alina. Moonstone? Never mind. The bag is full? What? Can we drop? Pops. Um, I don't need this sausage yet. Okay, that should be fine. What does the last instance even do? I'm not even sure. Oh, let's check. Sorry, guys, I'm all over the place right now. The foe's accuracy. That's not bad. Not bad at all. A lot of Alinas around here. A lot of. Pokemon that won't leave me alone. Are you gonna battle me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You startled me. I thought you were a ghost. Nope. I'm a real boy. Rich girl. Thundershock that man. Oof. Oh, it doesn't affect you, so you're a ground type. Ah, oh, goodbye. Ow. Okay, listen. Listen, Morona. What? What is your problem? Uh, Onum. I don't know if we used you yet. Ground type, so we can hit it with that pen missile. Beautiful. Why is Morona so good, but I mean, uh, Onum so good, but you know. Whoa, that's a good move. I'm dropping Leech Life. A palm? Wait, isn't this stab? I'm pretty sure it is stab. That's why it's doing so much damage. I'm a choke. I love. Uh, I love it when I have good Pokemon. <coughs> Morona. Sorry, I had a cough there. 
Um, we're gonna drop an antidote on it. So yeah, um, you know, I've just been, otherwise from really busy stuff, I've been trying to, you know, I got, I got a list of all, all these games that, that I, that I need to beat, because what I do is I'll, I'll get a new game, and then play through most of it, but then never come close to actually beating it. Like, I'll get really close to beating it, and then never actually go through with it. So I have, like, a ton of games like that, and, um, including Pokemon Moon. I'm pretty close to being that, as far as I know, but I haven't touched it in a while. So I have a list of games. I've been tackling that on this, in my spare time. Right now I'm doing Breath of the Wild. I picked the, the biggest game out of all of them uh, on accident, but it's still... I think Breath of the Wild has moved up for me. It's, it's one of my favorite games at this point. I thought I had a repel. There we go. You know, Breath of the Wild is just like... It's just because, like, there, there's so much, like, no matter where you go in the map, there's always something to explore. And I love that. Absolutely love it. It's, like, the greatest thing ever. You know? Because, like, a lot of, like, games like these, like Pokemon, of course, this is, Leaf Green is one of my favorite games. You know, it's, it's, it's fairly simpl simplistic, I guess, but whatever. But, you, you know, you're supposed to go exploring, but it's very linear as well. So it's, like, how much exploring do you really do on your own? Breath of the Wild takes like everything you ever like wanted in an open world or whatever, and like no matter where you're going, you're not walking through it like a huge open map with nothing to inhabit it. No matter where you're going, you're gonna find something, even if it's something as small as like a Korok seed. That's you're still gonna find something, and I love it. I absolutely love it. What is this? Don't razor win me. Don't razor win me. You messing with the wrong guy, my oof, ouch, jeez, darn. Okay, stop. I need you to cut it out. Um Okay, everyone's hurting now. It's kinda of bothering me. Oh, we got a sodi pop. Alright, let's do this. So yeah. I just absolutely love Breath of the Wild. Can't get enough of it, honestly. Um, and the Switch, and the Switch as well, it's just like a nice console, you know, there's like, it's just nice to hold, I don't really have any gripes about it. I'm waiting for the, uh, the Pokemon Switch game, that is gonna be so much fun, hopefully, hopefully it is. It's kind of a buzz thing right now, people are talking about it. But I, I, I hope, I hope it's gonna be wonderful, because that's what I'm looking forward to in a, in a Pokemon Switch game. Because, I mean, there's, like, so much possibility. There's so much that the console can do. Like, it, it could honestly make... Well, I don't know. Pokemon is, like, inherently, it has to be linear. Right? Because, like, the level caps, like, if you just... If there was ever an open-world Pokemon game, it wouldn't work. Because, you know, you'd have to... Find... Like, okay, so every gym or trial or whatever has, like, a certain level they're at. But if you're, you know, going through the game in open world, and you want to go to the last gym, there's literally no way to beat it. The only way to do it is by having a really well-chained Rattata, like the dude who won uh, the Elite Four with the just a Rattata. That was impressive, but he also had a lot of items, and he had been, like, working towards that for a while. And I'm pretty sure it said he had to re... Uh, re, um... Keep redoing that, that run just to get it right until the very end. So, you know, it takes time and effort and stuff like that. The bag is full. Not on my watch. They're gonna drop. Wave mirror. What, what, what do the males ever do, actually? I actually have no idea what males do. I ran out the back. Aw, oh, that reminds me of Beller. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Where am I going? There we go. But yeah, there's my little mini rant on it. If you have not played Breath of the Wild, I strongly suggest it. Like, very strongly suggest it because it is a great game. And the Switch is great. The Switch is going to have more stuff, you know. I feel like uh, I've done a lot with... um. With uh, 
just mode. Oh, Mar Mario Odyssey as well. That game was wonderful. And I'm not even. I still, that's another game that I got really close to beating and never actually beat. Just because I'm a moron like that. That's what I tend to do. But, you know. Sick. July 10th. We christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Christened? I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound. I remember spending s hours when I was when I was a kid uh, in this game, trying to do the uh, strength on the truck trick for Mew. I was such a I was so dumb, but like I I believed it. I was like, oh man, I gotta I gotta you know. It's a pretty strong looking. Um, can you take these there? Wow, ended. But yeah, I, I, I spent forever trying to get Mew with the, with the truck. So stupid. I don't know why I did it, but... That's just what I did. I wasn't a very smart kid. But... I mean, I suppose I can tell you guys where I've been. I have... I had four... I have 14... Okay, so, you know, it's the end of, it's the, end of the school year. I got 14 exams. That's... A lot of exams. I have, I have 14 total ones, and I've done, I think, 10 of them so far. I don't know how many I've done. It's too many to count at this point. Kind of lost track. Lose my my mind, you know. But yeah, that's where I've been taking all these exams, just because I'm a crazy guy. Taylor. Starting birds are like so nice. I love them. They always are pretty nice. Thought I couldn't go down. Oh, the basement. Yeah, this is where I gotta go now. I know where I'm at. Hello. Metapod, you're mine. You're mine, Metapod! Start gel! Okay, honestly though, like, you, you go through this game so fast, you do everything so quickly, you forget about the lost Pokemon, like Gel, you know? You forget that yes, I did have a, I did have a Sharpie though, named Gel. Isn't that like, you know... I had a, I had a Pidgey named Freebird. I had, I had a, a person named Ined. You know, it's just like, you can't, you cannot forget about them. As you move forward in this game, you cannot forget about them. Because they're the ones that got me here. Without them, I would not I would not be where I'm at. Because their their deaths, even though some of them felt like they had no meaning, they were still doing something, you know? They still they still aided my journey. They they did everything they could. Some more than others. Um But, you know. Found the secret key. Am I ever gonna find a moonstone? Probably not. I probably just have to accept the fact that that my Jigglypuff is just a terrible Pokemon. Don't come at me with a Vigoroth. What are you doing? Oh, I have to go back down there. I have to put on another. I don't want to waste your repel because I was I thought I was gonna leave, but I have to, I have to go back down here again. There we go. I done got out with the secret key that leads into the gym. Done. Look at that. Now, I would go uh, into the gym, but I have um, I have some training to do. So I'm gonna do that in between episodes. Train up. Get all my Pokemon up. You know what I'm saying? I need to get um. Everyone up to at least 35 or 40. I mean, I got. I just need to get the, these two guys up. Maybe I think 40 would probably be better. Take longer, but it's better. Um, so yeah, it's a little shorter than usual. I'm sorry about that, but you know, I'm gonna keep recording more. I'm gonna start getting these out more often, hopefully. Um, 
to whoever's watching watch them. Thank you guys for watching. Again, drop a like if you liked it. Drop a dislike if you didn't like it. I am working on my commentary. I'm trying to get a little better. I'm trying to keep it interesting. Throw my personality out there because I got a lot off. Uh, so yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. Please. That always makes me feel very nice. And I'll see you all in the next episode, which will be longer and hopefully not too far away from this one. Peace out.